Right. Hardened Bronin. Right, I need Hardened Bronin and Bronin. That's all I need. Two Hardened and three Bronin. Oof. Two Hardened and three Bronin. If he sells this. Oh, he does. Three Bronin and then two Hardened. Boom. Oh, yes. I also need a bunch of superior leather. Just to upgrade my... What is it? Scabbard. My knife scabbard. For some reason, it's never been upgraded. It didn't even pop up before, though, I don't think. No, I don't believe it did. And there we go. Yay, our armor's at max. Oh, whoa. Oh, never mind. It changed to plate armor. Alright, I can upgrade this. Okay. Upgrade again. Four intelligence and one dexterity? Oh, I just need one steel. Oh my god, I can upgrade it again. One steel. Simple. Steel. Steel. Where is steel? There it is. Just one of these. There we go. I can't believe how well that worked out, honestly. I was not expecting it to, to be quite honest. Now I really don't care about the Avenger. Boom. Yeah! Perfect. Right, we'll go and switch my equipment round. I think I'll just rest as well. Right, equip the shield. Yeah, there we go. So if I look over what I have... Oh. Crap, I didn't know I had that. So what is it? Tunnel Sweeper. Actually, I'll eat this. Because it might recover most things. Health's at full. Kai power nearly at full. Hmm. Just need endurance. Oh, there we go. Just eat the mushrooms. And we'll be fine. Yum, 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 yum. Um. Yeah, back to what I was doing. I can't. Really? Alright, so I need to sell the Avenger and something else. Like that pot of stuff. Yeah, I want to spike. Speak to the merchant. Yeah, that explosive pot of crap I want to sell. And I also want to sell this. I don't think I'll use it. So. Oh yeah, and I can sell this as well. Tunnel Sweeper. That's what it was. Yeah, this. Very good. Alright, now we can actually be on our way. Yay! That was like five to ten minutes in the shop. I don't care. Onward to the tun Tunnel's Junction. No, to the Crystal Cave. No, no, Tunnel's Junction. I do want to write my story from here. The Shadowy Tunnel leads you to a wide, well-lit junction of passages. For some time, you find no sign of Giax or Dracarim. No sooner do you think this than a noise... Wait, no sooner do you think this than a noise makes you stop in your tracks. You hold back and duck behind... The cover of a natural column of rock, warned by the sound of approaching footsteps. Oh. Up ahead, a small patrol is passing through the junction. Their dark armor and bestial features are brightly fit, bri brightly lit in the shuddering flames of their torches. Though they are not heading your way, the tun these tunnels are like a maze. If you do not take them out now, you are likely to just circle around and surprise you later. L later. later. Shadows dance all around them on the... Smooth stone walls. You may have the element of surprise here, but you will surely lose it if you not act quickly. Okay, then. You focus on the... Eh. Yeah. I'll try this. Stay out of sight. 
You stay behind your cover until the patrol has moved just out of sight. This lets you approach them completely unseen and get behind them after they pass the junction. Though it does mean letting them move farther away, you have the skill needed. Approach them silently. Under the cover of stealth, you reach the patrol and can catch them completely unawares. Yay! Under the cover of night. Oh, God. Ugh. Surprise. What the? I was about to say, like, why is his face green? I can do this. Oh. Boom. How was that noise? Ooh, aha. Hmm. Oh yes, he's stunned. Kill him! There we go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -da -da. Ba -da -da -ba -da. That won't be the end of it. Oh no, it is. Holy crap. Surprised. I need to keep drinking because the one downside to this game is there is so much text, you have to keep talking. And it really hurts your throat. Especially if you've not recorded in a while. Ugh. Though the tunnels are a labyrinth of caves, most of them are dead ends. Oh, most of them dead ends are caved in. You manage to eventually find one that angles slightly upwards. The wind in this tunnel smells fresher than any other. The scent of a distant forest carries along its breeze. This is the way up and out. The passage that will lead Van and Gun to freedom. Freedom! Huh? Okay. You would like to scout a bit further ahead. But you suddenly feel dizzy. You have to lean to the wall and you c and catch your breath. After taking a few steps back the way you came, you instantly you feel instantly better. Upon setting off for the cave, however, you realize that your own trail has been discovered. The blazing light of a torch is approaching fast and it is too close now to avoid. You are walking straight into a well-placed ambush. Oh. Oh dear. What the hell got me feeling dizzy? Ugh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Hup. Holy fuck. They have swords. Like, really cool swords. Nice try. Idiot. <whistles> ho ho! Yeah, try and block this, you fucking bricks. Wow! It does nearly 2,000 damage. That's pretty crazy. Wait, no, no, no. I'll do this. I think. This is one where it just hits... Yeah. Two targets. So what I wanted. Now this other guy has a lot of health. Yep. Very good. Oh, there we go. We got him. Fucking easy. I was waiting for him to dodge. But he didn't, surprisingly. That worked out pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, I think so. I appreciate that quite a lot. Alright, what are we going to get? A lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, we do. Explosive bolts and tunnel sweeper. Stuff I won't use. The last of your enemies lie dead at your feet, broken and bleeding out. You have made it, but you have something new to worry about. What you had assumed to be a torch was actually a Drakkar blade coated in some kind of oil and then set ablaze. It is the first time you have seen something like this. It may well be a new tactic devised by the Warlord of Vatag. 
All things considered, he has proven himself to be a cunning and resourceful foe. You would do well not to underestimate him. Regardless, your thoughts now go to Van and Gun. They have been trapped down here for years and freedom is close at hand. You clean your steel and head back for them, eager to see them freed at last. Ah. I think I should just slow down how quick I talk. Because I think doing that will probably help. In, you know... I think just slowing down how quick I talk would help in... Oh, balls. Not getting screwed. With reading, because I stumble upon my words so bloody much. It's so stupid. It really is. Am I able to use my Kai power? I like how they don't even attack me, they just raw. Oh, I don't get the first attack. Shoot. Oh, great, poisoned. Of course. Oh no, I can do this. Well then, this fight's already over. Fuck face! Bye. Bye, have a beautiful time. Simple. And now, now that we've done that, let's meditate again. <laughs> and try, shall we? Well, in fairness, with some, I guess if I know it's going to be a boss, I shouldn't use that. That technique. Straight away. Because if I do, I can't use it again in a battle. Well, I can, but... The chances of being able to use it again in battle are very low. Because of how many turns it takes to cool down, it takes a long time to cool down your Kai powers. I'm not even able to. Oh wait, yeah, I am. It's because I have to do this all over again. Oh. We're nearly on Act 3 though, which is quite cool. Yeah, we're on Chapter 3 of Act 2. So, it'll be interesting. Right, is this going to work out now? Hooray! Finally. I mean, I could have just gone to, you know, rest at the merchants, but screw that. Why would I do that? I want to write my story. Though you had some concern that the door to the crystal chamber might close behind you, th that fear was unfounded. The massive Shianti barrier is still wide open. Awesome. The room within echoing with the sound of familiar voices, the whole village just gone. Leandra's voice carries a little ki kindness as she answers. Only for now, Gun, Lone Wolf and I saved several others in the mines and a few in the village hung on despite it all. Rockstone will be good as new by summer. You will see. Van sighs. I do miss home. I miss those rafters with my family's names carved in them. I miss the iron swing on the porch your father built for my youngest. Gun, who has fully recovered from his attack of nerves, is now smiling. Happily at the older man. Do you also miss that bossy mother-in-law of yours? You were always complaining about her. Yes, but I will never admit I said that. Van's levity fades after a moment's silence. I just cannot help but be a little scared of leaving. I think about going through the door, that door, and I just seize up. I start shivering. I do not know why, but I feel afraid to go. Well, we cannot get you back soon enough for my liking, Leandra tells Van. This chamber, these crystals. There is just something about them I do not trust. After what you have seen and what little Leandra has told you about her experience with them, you can understand what she means. Everything about these crystals has proven dangerous. Leandra, can I have a word with you? You ask, silently urging her to follow you to the other side of the chamber. Van and Gunn have been surviving here with no water or food for years. You can see with your eyes that they have changed, and I felt sick when I got too far. I am certain the nausea would have passed, but... You glance at the pale, thin men with worried eyes. I want us all to get out of this chamber, but I'm not sure... I I'm not sure they can leave it. Leandra, it may actually be dangerous for them. What are we waiting for? Gun shouts excitedly and sprints off towards the exit. All, all I have wanted for years is to get out of here. Feeling that the worst is about to happen, you instinctively make a run for the door, trying to catch Gun. He is too fast, however, and slips. he slips your grasp. Eventually, Gun barrels out of the door and into the hallway beyond. Gun only gets a few steps before he screams in pain. All at once, his already wisened...
body starts to age and decay, his hair begins to fall, his skin tightening as it dries. He staggers against the wall, arms and legs shriveling until little is left but grey flesh of a brittle bone. So essentially, that chamber was delaying the inevitable. So as soon as they got out of that chamber, the year of 